Hello everyone, and this is a new mod for uh, Total War Rome Remastered. This one is called The Glory of uh, Rome Remastered, and it essentially aims to max out everything, right? So Rome Remastered has, um, you know, lifted so many limits, including uh, resources, map regions, factions, religions, cultures, um... Alexander and Barbarian Invasion mechanics are in the base game now. Uh, rebellions, reemergent factions, unlimited reforms, right? So, you know, this mod aims to take advantage of all of that, right? So just looking at the um, change log here for now, it says bigger map with 301 regions at the moment. Um... 61 total factions, new sounds, new animations. Barbarian and desert factions have the ability to horde and migrate for start as hordes at the beginning of the campaign. 17 new religions, reworked Roman Republic, including all the families in one faction, right? Because that's a new thing in Rome Remastered. You can see the different family trees. Um... Carthage and Seleucids have uh, shadow factions. There's a Nuragic Rebellion, and there's a bunch of other stuff, I'm sure, <gasps> that is uh, not uh, stated here. So let's uh, open up the campaign here, and as you can see, uh, there's a lot here. Uh, a lot of these new icons are uh, Rome 2 icons, as you can see. Um... Uh, not, I remember this face especially. Um, and actually, uh, a lot of the main faction uh, icons have also been replaced with uh, the Rome 2 icons, which in general is fine, because of course those icons are more accurate. I'm totally fine with those icons. They're a little flatter than the original Rome Total War and Rome Remastered style, but uh, that's fine to me. I just wish it was a little more uniform because you can tell when an icon is not a Rome 2 icon. It's a little less uh, stylized. Um, also, the effects when you mouse over the icons are different uh, when it's a Rome 2 one compared to when it's not. So uh, that can get ironed out with time, of course. Uh, as you can see, there are a ton of new factions here. And as you can see, uh, not everything is done. There are a lot of descriptions that are not done here. Unfortunately, some of the descriptions are, but not all of them. And of course, not all of the mini-maps are done either. Um, but in any case, let us uh, get into the campaign and I will show off some of the features of this mod. Okay, so here we are in the campaign. And uh, as you can see, it utilizes the Eur Europe uh, 270 BC map that was uh, made by Webbird and uh, ported to Rome Remastered by Ganim. Again, uh, Ganim, excellent uh, modder who's all over the place, really. And as you can see, you've got a pretty interesting system here for the Romans. Um, so you've got the Etruscan League over here. Down here you have the Samnites, so it's very cool to see kind of uh, Rome with, you know, the Senate. And then you've got a whole bunch of, uh, you know, the Samnites and the Etruscans are separate at the beginning. So that's kind of cool. You've got your allies, you've got sort of civil war brewing here in the middle already. And, uh, you know, every time I look at the Europe 270 BC map, the more I like it. Um, I know the coastlines are not perfect, but, you know, what can you do? So let's take a look at the map here. As you can see, it's not the most uh, historically accurate mod, and it's, you know, it's not going for that. It's, it's just, it might do that in the future, right? But at the moment, it's not going for that. Like, you've got uh, the Cimmerian Bosporus and Colchis under Pontic control, Paphlagonia... Heraclea Pontica under Pontic control, which of course is not right. You've got a, oh, Galatia, that's nice. Uh, you've got a huge Thracian Odrysian kingdom, which of course is not quite right. You've got um, 
sort of united Illyria. You've got um, Macedon controlling everything. Um, what else is a little off here? Uh, you know, everything else uh, I can uh, tolerate pretty much. Um, and then, of course, you've got a huge Scythia. Wow, that's a big Scythia. That's interesting. Oh, and actually, um, the Germanic tribes here is quite huge. That's interesting because you've got you've got some uh, just tribe factions, but you also have amalgam factions. I don't know exactly how I feel about that. Of course, in addition, you have uh, a city called Arax in Armenia. That is interesting. Uh, and you have Albania and Iberia under Armenian control uh, from the start, which is interesting. Um, yeah, other than that, that's pretty interesting. But let us uh, go back to the Romans here and let us take a look at some of these units we've got. So... Uh, as you can see, I've got the realistic uh, unit cards up here, and I believe that this mod adds uh, units. It adds uh, quite a bit indeed. Uh, the religions, of course. You've got Roman polytheism and, of course, a whole bunch of other religions. Um, I haven't checked what all the religions are, but they are there. So you've got Etruscan polytheism, Celtic paganism, regular paganism, uh, Greek Hellenism. So that's actually pretty interesting. I like the idea of having all these religions. I'm pretty sure it's a little West-focused. But um, no, that's very cool, very cool indeed. Uh, definitely introducing the religion mechanic into... You know, it, the religion mechanic works pretty well in Imperator. They did it in a really cool way. So having it, having something like that in Rome Total War, especially with a big detailed map like this, I think that has a lot of potential for sure. So we've got a rebel city in the middle of uh, Italy here in, um, what's that province called? Basilicata. So let us uh, take them. Let's take them and let's check out our units here. Uh, actually, how many armies do we have? Do we have an army in the field? No, seems like we don't. They're all in cities. So I will uh, take our faction leader, Flavius Julius, and I'll take our heavier units, and I'll go down south to uh, meet up with our troops there, and we will take down this, uh, this city, Grumentum, in modern... Basilicata. Another thing I don't like here that I can see is that some of the regions uh, don't have regions names. They're called Peru, like Perusia region, Tarquini region. Uh, I don't like that. No, I think if you're going to add a province, figure out a good province name for it. Okay. So let us see uh, what we can do here. Let's make a trader in... Uh, Brindisi, let us make uh, let's make a trader in Croton as well. Oh, we need uh, more troops there, that's for sure. So let's get a town watch there, lower the taxes. How is it now? 70%? Okay, that's okay. What else have we got? Asculum, what can we make there? You know, let's make traders and ports everywhere. Let's build up our economy a bit. That's what we definitely need. Okay, so let us end the turn here. And I'll uh, get into a battle with uh, that rebel stack. And we will... Uh, I'll see you there. All right, so we're getting into a battle with these uh, rebels here in southern Italy. And uh, as you can see, most of the units in those stacks are uh, vanilla, pretty vanilla, but um, the battle mechanics in this mod are definitely quite different compared to vanilla. You know, vanilla Rome Total War is one of the fastest Total Wars in terms of uh, uh, the speed of battle, right? So this mod 
has much higher defense values. So uh, we'll see exactly how much they slow down the game here. Okay, so let's get into it here. I guess I'll put these guys on the edges. Okay, let's get this party started. We've got a nice uh, remastered Greek-style city here. Again, I really like the improved uh, buildings. For sure, they look much nicer. And it seems like their troops are not the heaviest. So we shouldn't have too difficult of a time taking them down. Heavy Peltists. Are there Heavy Peltists in vanilla? I don't even remember. I play vanilla so little. All right, and we've got their pushover cavalry and some militia cavalry. And let's quickly take a look at our units. So we've got uh, Principes here, and I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure this is a vanilla unit in its looks as well. And the Triarii too. The Triarii look nice in Remastered. Again, I think the Remastered uh, vanilla units in Standard Rome Total War, I think those look okay in Remastered. Uh, but the Remastered Barbarian Invasion and Remastered Alexander units look really nice uh, compared to uh, the originals, that's for sure. get our troops in there should be able to handle these guys I don't think they can hold me off from four different locations there for too long anyway okay the enemy gate has been breached so let us utilize this new pathfinding to actually deploy half decently. Oh, their heavy peltists are coming at me, so I'll flank them to take them out as quickly as possible. Okay, troops get in there. Take out those peltists on the left flank. And one of the other features from Remaster that is, of course, uh, underutilized, and I don't even utilize it because I forget about it, is this aerial view. I like this. I like this indeed. So I want to get these troops, actually, over here. It's a little hard to control from this view. Okay, there we go. That's what I want. Okay. Okay. And let's get our other troops into that breach as well. Oh, they're still holding the ram. That's why they're being so weird. Interesting. I thought they would automatically drop it. Okay. That shows you how much I like to fight siege assaults when I'm not doing videos, huh? I don't like it at all. Okay, so we've got our hoplites here. Looking pretty good, actually. The hoplites look pretty nice. Okay. Okay, Hastati hit those guys from the back. Militia hoplites hit these hoplites. Okay, our guys on the left flank seem to be doing pretty well. Let's get a, try to get our guys to deploy here and flank them. And yeah, I think in the original, pathfinding would not allow for such a maneuver. 
in here in a settlement like this, but I think I'm going to be able to pull it off here. Yeah, so as you can see, battle uh, the battle is definitely going much slower than a vanilla battle would. Okay, so now let's flank these militia hoplites. Okay, so now get them from behind. Okay, good. So let's see what we've got going on here with our tactical map view. Everything looks like it's going as expected. Yeah, their hoplites are trying to push forward, but of course uh, pushing to their own doom. And what's going on on the left? Uh, I do wish morale was perhaps toned down slightly, but okay, it seems like we're causing a mass rout. That's good. Only the standard hoplites are still trying to press onward. It's not going to work for them. Okay, so we defeated those guys. So let's try to hit these hoplites as best we can. I'll move these Hastati to flank, to a flanking position. Okay, very good. It's going the way I want. Alright, let's hit those Peltists down the middle. And let's move our Hastati here to flank as well. And you know what? Let's get our general involved as well. Okay, the enemy hoplites have engaged. They're pushing our guys. They seem to be able to push our guys really well. Interesting. All right. Okay, we caused their heavy peltists to rout. No, General, don't go that way. Why would you do that? Ah, uh, but we didn't get a lot of those heavy peltists when they were uh, routing, but that's okay. It's the nature of Roman type army. General ineffectiveness. Okay, so let us uh, get our guys in there. Okay, their hoplites are actually doing pretty decently against the Principes. They've taken out a few of them, but um, yeah, they're a lower tier unit. They're not going to be able to handle us here. But once we flank them, that'll be even better. Yeah, so in terms of the unit speed, I think it's pretty good. It's a little slower than vanilla. So uh, I, I actually like the unit speed here. I think the pacing of battle, you know, it's not bad. You know, once I broke those guys, it was pretty good. I like it, actually. I think it's pretty well done, all things considered. I think uh, the mod maker has done a good job with the battle pacing. Okay, General, get in here. Oh, these trees, these uh, pseudo wudos are blocking my path. Okay. Wait a minute, did these hoplites break? Yes, they did.
So we'll get our general to hit the militia cavalry from the flank. So the Greeks over here are breaking already. Very nice. I think that militia morale could be decreased ever so slightly. Just slightly. But I'm actually pretty okay with this balance. Yeah, this militia cav is going down. Okay, General, why don't you come and do something, please? All right. All right. Oh, seems like those guys have fled a bit, so let's go after them. And with my luck, my general will die here, but that's fine. It wouldn't be a Gudea video without that happening. Their heavy peltists have taken a good position in the street here, so they're taking out some of my guys, but we are breaking through. I knew it. I knew it. They swarmed me. That's okay. For the purposes of this video, I'm happy. All right, I think we can uh, speed this up a bit. We're breaking them down. May I think cavalry in melee is a little too good, perhaps. I mean, this isn't a medieval mod, so... And also, these are just like Roman and Greek cavalry units, so they shouldn't be that good. All right. So there you have it. Pretty fun siege assault, actually. You know, siege assaults like that make me want to fight more siege assaults. When when you play uh, siege assault in like Europa Barbarorum 2 and you're fighting a hoplite heavy army or a spear heavy army, it's it's tough. It's tough. All right, let's enslave okay so i suppose that's pretty much everything i want to show about glory of rome in this mod spotlight here again this isn't the most accurate of mods but it's it's a nice well-rounded package okay if you're if you're looking for europa barbarum this isn't it but this is sort of middle ground it's a sort of middle ground it's not quite i would say at rtr uh platinum edition levels either in terms of like historicity, realism, but it's in other ways, like in the strategic element, the tactical element, it's pretty, pretty good. It's pretty good. I really like having these uh, religions here uh, and all these options and cultures It's and, and hordes from the start. It, it's pretty good. I like this mod. Um, and, you know, any mod utilizing this huge... Europe 270 BC map. I think that's pretty cool indeed. Okay, if you enjoy videos about the historical Total Wars and their mods, consider liking this video, consider subscribing to the channel, consider supporting the channel. There are links in the description below to do so through uh, Patreon or through YouTube. And uh, yeah, uh, consider subscribing to my other channel, Gudea the Historian, focused on history videos. I've got a couple videos on Sumerian kings ranked, Armenian kings ranked, and a video about uh, the Armenian king Artaxias the first, a sort of documentary type video. If you enjoy stuff like that, consider checking that out. 
I will see you in the next one later.